guys, it's Courtney again because you're on, you know, my YouTube channel. This week, the book review or the book I am reviewing is A Taxonomy of Love by Rachel Allen. I won the My YA Life giveaway, oh gosh, I think it was back in July, like the end of July, and I received a bunch of ARCs and a pre order, which that review will be coming up soon in a couple weeks. But anyway, so I won an ARC of A Taxonomy of Love by Rachel Allen. So this one comes out January 9th, I want to say. January 9th. It's not going to... just says January on it. So Rachel Allen is also the author of The Revenge Playbook and 17 First Kisses. So this is her third novel then. And, okay, I'm going to read you guys the synopsis, the official one, because if I try to, like make it up, then I'm going to get super confused and probably give you a horrible synopsis. Okay, so here's the synopsis. The moment Spencer meets Hope the summer before seventh grade, it's something at first sight. He knows she's special, possibly even magical. The pair become fast friends, climbing trees and planning world travels. After years of being outshone by his older brother and teased because of his Tourette's syndrome, Spencer finally feels like he belongs. But as Hope and Spencer get older and life gets messier, the clear label of friend gets messier too. Through sibling feuds and family tragedies, new relationships and broken hearts, the two grow together and apart. And Spencer, an aspiring scientist, tries to map it all out using his trusty system of taxonomy. But unlike science, love doesn't always fit into easy to manage boxes. Through prose, letters, chats, texts, a sparkling commercial voice, and a dash of science, Rachel Allen explores the many forms and facets of love, from the messy and heartbreaking to the wondrously beautiful. So as you can see, it's not going to focus because I don't have autofocus on this camera, but I will include a actual nice HD picture of the front cover right over here. So you can see like how detailed it is. And it's just super awesome because just looking at it, you're like, oh, that's cool. But then if you actually start like really looking at it, it's even cooler, trust me. Okay, so I have my review all up on my phone ready to use as my cheat sheet note wise. Okay, so as it says on the back, Spencer has Tourette's and I don't have much experience with that like in my own life or even reading about it because I don't think I've ever read a book where the main character or any of the characters were afflicted with that, so I thought that it was a really, like, nice thing for representation to put in here because it never defined who he was. It wasn't like, oh, like, the biggest thing with Spencer is that he has Tourette's. It was just something like, a part of who he was or something he has to deal with. So it was never, like, a defining characteristic. It, it was more so about, like, who Spencer is as a person, as, like, obviously things she should be, so I thought that was really awesome that it was done so nicely. Okay, so the novel spans from when I believe Spencer and Hope are about 13 and then in the epilogue I think it's they're 19 years old. So six years seems like a long time because let's see there's only for you. I'm sorry but I will have the link in description for my flushed out, flushed out, whatever the word is, um, written review on my blog in the description below. Okay, so anyway, it is 336 pages and it is being published in hardcover. So what I did like about the six year span is that usually books take place over like a week or two, maybe a couple months, so you don't really get to see the characters progress as much. Definitely like six years is much longer than six months, but I like that it did that actually because it's nice to see that so the characters can grow up and mature and everything and you get to see little like bits and pieces of their lives from each year. As for the family tragedy, it's definitely sad but it does help the character like develop and then affects how everyone else like interacts with that character and just the overall story totally changed. Had that one character not had that tragedy happen to them, I know it's super vague. So what I did really like is the relationship between Hope and her older sister Janie because they were super 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 close and it was really juxtaposed by how Spencer and his older brother Dean weren't really that 
close at all. Like, they didn't hate each other, but it definitely wasn't the same connection as Hope and Janie had. So, that was a great little tidbit to juxt or to compare and contrast, kind of. Okay, we already talked about how pretty this cover is, but it really is. Okay, so this book is going to be published on January 9th by Amulet Books. And that is only six days away from when this review is going up. So make sure you pre-order it or go out and buy it or something because you will not be disappointed because it's a really awesome read. Thanks everybody for watching today's video. If you liked it or even if you didn't, please give this video a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Please visit my blog and other social media links which will be in the description below. And don't forget to buy this book in a week.